Welcome everyone to my thesis defense. My name is Karen Mai Balaji, and I'm a current senior at Frisco High School in Frisco, Texas. So my research topic is about utilizing novel non-invasive strategies, such as utilizing stool DNA from stool samples to locate specific genetic biomarkers, um, more specifically genetic mutation and methylation markers for the early detection of colorectal cancer. So I had three main guiding questions throughout the process of my research. The first question was, what major genes are involved in the colorectal carcinogenesis pathway? And can we identify specific genes from the colorectal carcinogenesis pathway and identify them through stool DNA to detect, to detect colorectal cancer in hopes of increasing detection rates? And lastly, does the sensitivity Activity and specificity of detecting colorectal cancer increase when we test for multiple genetic markers in combination. And these questions are extremely too important to um, answer because colorectal cancer continues to be the second leading cause of cancer deaths worldwide. And more alarmingly, most of these deaths occur in young adults aged between um, 21 years of age and 49 years of age, and um, those that live in developing countries. Also, colorectal cancer can be harder to diagnose in its earlier stages because its symptoms resemble those of other gastrointestinal diseases. And the gold standard testing process, which is the colonoscopy, is expensive and invasive to perform, which hinders patient compliance. So I had over 51 different citations, um, literature reviews that I um, used throughout my research paper. But the three that kind of stood out to me the most was that the current use of stool tests, such as the fecal immunochemical test that detects macroscopically invisible blood in the stool um, is highly ineffective because most gastrointestinal problems actually um, have the similar symptom of blood in the stool. Secondly, colorectal cancer has one of the highest mutational burdens of all cancer types, which led me to conclude that testing for these mutations in stool DNA can be highly um, effective in diagnosing colorectal cancer. This kind of goes hand in hand with the the third um, citation, this is from the first source, which states that the exfoliation of these tumor cells occur faster in the stool than in blood. So it makes sense to test for stool DNA to detect um, these genetic mutations. And lastly, I looked at the pathways of the colorectal cancer carcinogenesis pathway, and I concluded that the APC, KRAS, and TP53 genes and other methylation markers such as CDC2, MLH1, are the most prevalent in most colorectal cancer cases. So my methodology, my paper was split into six main sections and this is how I approached my research. The first section kind of explores what colorectal cancer is, including its symptoms, causes, and family history implications. Second, I um, explored established colorectal cancer screening methods, such as a colonoscopy, sigmoid scopy, existing stool tests, just a fecal immunochemical test, commercially available tests such as Cologuard, and a new um, blood test that utilizes the methylated septin-9 marker. Third, I explored the three pathways to colorectal carcinogenesis pathway and identified the major gene players. After identifying those players, I, took, uh, I started trying to find um, studies that looked for those specific markers individually that tested for colorectal cancer, and I found studies that use those markers in combination. And I, I did this primarily by looking at studies published in PubMed, NCBI, and the New Jersey, in, the New England Journal of Medicine. And lastly, I took a look at current clinical trials that were being done um, to, to find new testing methods for colorectal cancer. And some of these did not really include genetic biomarkers. So that was really interesting. So the final results was that um, the single methylation marker of CDC2 was highly promising, as well as a combination testing process utilizing APC, K KRAS, and BRAF, and other methylation markers. And I also found this one clinical study that stated that the use of a single 
um, genetic marker can be problematic because some markers have stronger relationships among different populations. So, for example, the septin 9 marker had a stronger colorectal cancer relationship among Caucasian populations. So these results led me to believe that combination genetic biomarker testing is the most effective in diagnosing colorectal cancer from stool DNA because it reduces false positive, false negative readings and other um, factors such as race. My paper had a few limitations. One limitation is that it may have not um, gone through all of the genetic markers involved in the colorectal carcinogenesis pathway, for example, BRAF. Secondly, Certainly, genetic mutation and methylation markers are not the only way to detect colorectal cancer. A few clinical styles studies that I was looking at utilized RNA markers and breath samples to detect colorectal cancer. Third, this paper does not explore the implications of certain family diseases, such as Lynch disease, on the on colorectal cancer development because it could have a different impact on the pathway. And lastly, the studies and clinical trials that I used are not exhaustive, so the probability of finding another study with a different um, outcome and result is possible. Before I end, I would like to talk about my experience with the program. I want to take, thank Dr. Halal for teaching so much about immunology. This helped me find a new avenue of interest. I also like to thank Professor Virgil for teaching me how to write um, a research paper and how to organize it. This is something that I I'll definitely use throughout my education and career. And lastly, I want to thank Coach Joe for providing students like me this amazing opportunity. And the most thrilling part of the research process as a whole was the learning aspect. Thank you. Awesome job, Kiran May. Um, a really good presentation and the depth uh, at which you went through was quite good. Uh, Dr. Prahalath, question for her. Yeah, Kiran May, great presentation. Excellent job. So. You you mentioned that a uh, lot of like multi genetic marker you know testing uh, probably is good. So none of them are in clinic now, or some methylation markers are out there already, right? So which one is better, maybe methylation marker or mutation marker? What do you think? I personally think methylation markers show a lot more promise because they can be a lot can be tested using one sample. There are a lot of testing processes out there that like the methylation-specific PCR can um, simultaneously test for multiple methylation mutation, methylation markers. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, excellent. Great job, congratulations. Thank you.